Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, Halloween is upon us and I have been invited to a party this evening. I've known about it for a little while, but as usual, left it a little bit to the last minute. Uh, I'm going to be going as Vincent van Gogh or Vincent van Gogh. It's going to be a self-portrait version of the costume, so just following his um, self-portraits, ones that are painted, I'm going to be doing a painted effect on myself and on my clothes. I've got a few bits started already, um, so we're just going to be painting those up today. It is this evening, so I've got a bit of a rush on, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, I can show you a few bits now. So I'm kind of going to be doing an amalgamation of his self-portraits, a few that he did during his lifetime, including the hat here. You can see I've started to paint in some shadows and highlights on this, just to give it that painted look. See, it looks all right. We have the jacket here. Now this is the jacket that I've got. I've, you know, I spent not a lot of money on this. This was from the charity shop. This is the original kind of color, the bits I've still got to do. I started painting it last night. So we're going for this painted look, you know, it's sort of that bluey green tinge that his portraits have. So we've just got to do the rest of that like that. And I've just got this white shirt to go underneath. I think this is probably a, um, an old school shirt that I've still got. It um, was a long time ago. But I'm just going to paint this up as well. Just giving it probably just down the front and on the collar because we're not going to see the rest of it once I've got the jacket on. So I'm just going to paint that up in sort of whites and greys, kind of matching in the colours a bit. But I'm going to binge on some Netflix and just crack on painting some of this. Uh, I'll just have the camera set up and you can see how I do it. So let's get painting. So here we go, I've got the jacket all painted up, I've got the shirt all painted up. It only goes to about here, because we're not going to see any of this. You can see it just gives some definition to all the bits on here. All of it done. Got the hat done. There it is. So, it's taken me a fair few hours to get to this point. Uh, it's more paint than I expected to use to do it. But now we've just got to wait till the time's right. Then we're going to do some face paint. Right, because I am going to be doing face paint, what we've got to do is just test the paint. I've got 
two little things that were really cheap uh, from Poundland, which is a, the pound shop similar to a dollar store, something like that in America. But what we're going to do, we're just going to test it on my skin to make sure I don't have a reaction with it because uh, we don't want to put it on and have it react on my face instead because that would be not good. Um, so we're just going to crack them open and then just I'm going to leave them on my arm for a little bit and uh, check that they don't react with me and my skin. So let's just do that. So here we go. This is the makeup that I've got. I've got two different ones. You can see there's a few different colors. I got this one because it's got the the little pens that we can use to do little bits of detail. I didn't quite know what I was going to do. But let's crack these open and do the test. There we go. Just applied some on there. We're going to leave that on there and um, just make sure I don't wrap with it. And hopefully we should be good to go. I might just do the pens as well, um, just to check they're not made of anything different. There we go, just coloured that on there as well. And uh, we're gonna leave that on for about half an hour and then come back. So it turns out the face paint is going to be a no-go. I've kind of rashed up with it. Um, but since trying it on my arm, it doesn't feel great. That's what you get, I guess, for buying cheap face paint. But we're gonna just use an emergency supply of just regular makeup. Just gonna use a foundation on my face and then the different colours I'm gonna put everything on you know sort of lashed up in my beard eyeliner just to get color we're just gonna go crazy and try and salvage what we can it's gonna be good but let's do that so here i am guys we are here ready this is not something that's been attempted before by myself i have never worn makeup or done makeup myself so this is just gonna be completely going at it just uh however i think it's gonna work we're just gonna use a foundation and then some different colors that we've got here just to enhance my face a bit. Uh, the lighting's not great. As you can see, I've got a light on a mirror right here, just off camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I do somehow. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a go and see what we end up with. Let's go. Now I've washed my face, so it's nice and clean. We've got the hair ready, the hair is slicked back. Um, it's kind of how I have it anyway, but it's close to what the portrait is like so I'm gonna take my glasses off and have a go as you can see the lighting isn't the greatest oh there we go that's not well, we'll do our best it's really even me out look at that nice smooth face look at that makeup who knew there's probably some beauty people watching or people who do makeup often are probably absolutely horrified by what i'm doing but like i said i've not got much choice i'm just gonna go at it so i've got my reference pictures here so we can just check some of these as we go but it's pretty much sort of yellow red blue, there's blue in all the shadows, uh, so let's have a go. It's not as strong as face paint would have been, but we have to make do, don't we? This light is very misleading, but you can kind of see the blue on this side. Problem is, this is all designed to blend together. Uh, but what I want to do is trying to actually make marks, which isn't the best thing to do. So I'm just going to see how, how far we can make this not blend together. So for the beard, I've just thought, screw it, I'm going to use acrylic paint. You shouldn't use paint on your face, but I'm going to do it anyway and put up with it. I'm tempted to just paint my whole face with acrylic paint, you know. I'm a bit uncomfortable by the end of the night, though. I'm bad for your skin as well, so. It's very orange, look at that. So orange. So orange it looks like I'm a fake ginger, rather than a real one. 
Look at that, jeez. Is that going up into my hair? Yes, it is. Will this come out? Who knows? How best to show that redness? Still debating whether to just go crazy and actually paint my face. Be really uncomfortable for most of the night, though. If I do, is it worth it? Mm. Don't know. Foundation my neck. Oh yeah. I guess people aren't really trying to colour color themselves when they're doing proper makeup, which is why the makeup doesn't do a good job. But blue enough. Yes, I'm painting my eyebrows. Never thought I'd have to be more ginger than I am, you know? Odd having to paint me air orange. Look at that very orange. Incredibly orange. Look at that. Jeez. I'm just using like an eye definer here. And using it more as like a, a pencil to draw in features, much like you would a drawing, which is quite like what the paintings are like anyway. So I'm just drawing these in. around my eyes. Adding cartoon like definition, that's all. He's quite frowny in the in the painting, so I'll just draw in some frown lines where mine are. Oh god it makes me look evil. Perma frown. Look at that. I've added some to my nose here. Really subtle on camera. It's quite, it's quite harsh in person. I think we're pretty much there. I think I'm gonna just sort myself out, get ready, then I'll put on the whole costume and show you what it looks like. So there we are. I'm suitably Van Gogh's up. All ready to go. I have one finishing touch left to do, which I'm going to grab right now. Look at that. <laughs> Frame. So, self-portrait. Bye, eh? So that was it for my quick and easy Halloween costume. Uh, I'm going to go and have some fun. If you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.